Hey there. Hi, I'm Slippy. Hi. Give me a sec. Oh, let me just, I just need to get a dongle. Okay, sorry, honey, it's gonna be audible though. Okay. 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 All right. Hey, how are you? Hi, SLP. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Good to see you. Good to see you too. I'll let everyone in. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, beautiful people. Got it. Thank you, sweetie. Yep, thank you. I got it, I got it. Yay, all right. It's exactly five o'clock. It's Monday the 19th, and it's time for Watch Me Work. And so we're going to do what we always do, what we've been doing for the past, like, 15 years now. We're going to work together, or what do you call it, side by side, um, for 20 minutes. And then we're going to take questions from you about your work and your creative process. And um, I will do my best to answer them and give you some encouragement. And uh, if you have questions, Zoe from the New York Department, uh, Development Department is gonna tell you how to get in touch with us. Yeah, hi everyone, this is Zoe. Um, I'm the New York Development Manager at the Public Theater. And after our 20 minutes is over, um, please go ahead and use the raise your hand function in your bottom of the screen so that we can have a nice little cue going and then I will call on you and ask you to please unmute and that's how we'll go down uh, our list of questions. Fantastic. Thank you. We can also give a shout out to, um, of course, the Public Theater for hosting us and HowlRound for hosting us. Much love to both of those institutions and whoever is responsible for helping you get here today. Yay. Thank you to them. Here we go with our 20 minutes. Boom.
that all right it's been 20 minutes it's, it's amazing so um we did 20 minutes of working side by side over zoom and now we're going to do 40 ish minutes of talking about your work and your creative process should you have any questions anybody yes and just a friendly reminder to please use your raise your hand function sharon please go ahead and unmute yourself and ask your oh sharon i think you're still unmuted I haven't done this before, so you'll excuse me if my question is not right or whatever. Um, I love to do the writing, even though I don't always get to it and I'm not always able and sometimes I can't, but I do enjoy writing. But my getting from the writing to a finished product is my issue. And so I wondered if anybody in the group had advice about how long you should, and I write in hand with a pen. I like, uh, so maybe that's part of the problem, but it just seems easier to me. So I just wondered how long people take to type their stuff up, um, to turn it into something final. Um, right now I'm writing stories, but they're little bits of a book. Um, so what do you do with all your pieces? How do you make your pieces um, and I, you know, and I don't know if this is to the group or to you or whatever, but I'm interested in that process of the translation from what you've written to a real draft. Right. That's a great question, Sharon. And, you know, for the first time asking a question, your, your question is amazing because it's one of our favorite things to talk about. And I usually talk, uh, answered the questions, but you know, other people are free to chime in too, but, um, what we're what what it sounds like to me and correct me if I'm wrong it sounds like that you're saying you love the writing <clears throat> process right and the tricky part is getting it to the finished product finished thing that you're going to send out product isn't a great word um what is in between the writing process and the sending it out to people process is a major part of the process called the rewriting process do you uh, so are you do you enjoy rewriting as a person well um the only kind of writing i did before i retired was poetry when i did poetry i loved rewriting i could rewrite for years on the same poem oh but a skill. i somehow writing prose or fiction or stories feel somehow more daunting. Is it because of the numbers of words? I mean, we're just gonna be like nuts and bolts, numbers of words, yeah. Because I imagine your poems are in, I mean, I'm just thinking, you know, maybe they're in stanzas or a poem, a wonderful poem can have, it's like maybe five, I mean, how long was your longest poem? I mean, maybe a couple of pages, but you know, I could type them up in 10 minutes or 15 sure. minutes sure, sure, and then play with them forever. Sure. Right, 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 right. Okay. And I had a group too, which okay. also oh, helped. Okay. Okay. This is, no, this is really good. Okay. So let's do the second, my second question first. Do you have a group now? I've taken classes and I keep hoping a group will emerge and I've met people I've really enjoyed writing with some of whom, but I don't really, I wouldn't say I have a group except when I take a class. Okay. So, so the, a group has in the past has been helpful. That's awesome. Okay. So the rewriting process in, in poetry and your poetry writing was joyful and fun and you love to do it and it was great. Um, short stories maybe it sounds more daunting you said so if could you maybe just work on your short story maybe you know a paragraph at a time rewrite it meaning treat it like something manageable you know like someone says how do you eat an airplane you say one piece at a time or there's that wonderful song that was recorded a hundred years ago not really 
uh, Johnny Cash, you know, he stole the Cadillac. <laughs> he worked in a uh, car factory and he sings a song about how he stole a Cadillac and the song is called One Piece at a Time. I love that song. Um, so, you know, could you, could you really, could you sort of make your short story, you know, like write a line, like today I'm only going to rewrite the opening paragraph, you know, and then tomorrow I'm going to rewrite this paragraph, whichever, you don't have to do it in order, you know, kind of just go down the, that might be helpful, small it up, as we say, you know, make it more manageable, like if you're cleaning your you know, apartment or house or wherever, you, you know, or office or wherever you live, right? You want to just clean a little bit at a time and you think, oh, I have to do the whole house, or the whole apartment. It gets kind of overwhelming, you know. Um, one little piece at a time is, is very helpful. And a group. Could you maybe contact some of these people you enjoy? And, and, and could you form the group? I mean, you don't have to be in charge, but you could be the former, you know, the, the one who creates the formation. Maybe you think some of them might be, might be willing to join you. It can be on Zoom. It can be in person these days. We're so fortunate. You know, is that maybe helpful? Yeah, I have people that I haven't followed up with. And I think it's also because presenting a story and although I was in Florida and they had a group at the library and it was actually really helpful, but oh, cool. I haven't had it here in New York. Okay. Which is okay. And, you know, people are also available on Zoom these days more so than, you know, if you, you had a, a group in, in person in Florida, you know, maybe uh, some of those people might be available on Zoom to continue it, you know, um, or in addition to what they might have going in, in Florida um, in person. Um, people are, you know, open to, to doing fun things with, with wonderful people. It, so you can reach out, you know, and uh, the worst they can say is like, no, thanks. I'm busy or whatever. That's the worst, you know, um, two or three or four or five people might be nice. Mm -hmm. Um, if, if that, if having a group helps you, um, I mean, this is a group well, while we don't have the bandwidth to share work here, but we do offer encouragement. So this is a kind of a group, um, um what else also so it doesn't you know so how long does it take from the time you write something to the time you send it out it depends Sharon on on where you are with the rewriting process and and um if you I feel like if you can write it by hand is great also I've been reading stuff recently about how writing by hand is really a smart thing to do so you write your, your short stories by hand. That's a brilliant thing to do. I'd say keep up with that. When you type them, that's considered a rewrite, I would say. Um, and then you just go through it paragraph by paragraph. It takes as long as you need to take if you're going to be consistent with it and work on it. And I'd say splurge and show up every day for your because it's something for you, right? I mean, it's something you're doing for yourself. If you can really work on showing up every day for your writing. It doesn't have to be more than like we do here, 20 minutes. It will really make a difference over time. It's really gonna make a difference, you know? Okay. Thank you. Sure, mm -hmm. sure, great question. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. And Lisa, please. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Hey, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, how's it going? That's going well. It's going well. Um, I have a question for you based on something that you said. Oh. Yep. I know. Like three weeks ago. Um, oh, <laughs> I know. And it, this bothered me. And then not bothered me, but I kept thinking about it. Um, and you said and you said it right at the end of one of our sessions. Oh. We didn't have session the next week. And then I wasn't here the next week. So my apologies to everybody if, if you covered this or someone else asked. But you said something like, and you've, you've always said that when you get stuck to walk with your characters, to go outside, to read out loud, which is great. And I'm sure my neighbors really appreciate me pacing back and forth in my backyard declaiming. But that's their problem. Um, but right at the end, you said, but don't record it. Mm. 
And I wanted to say, but oh. what? But then but the why? But why? Yeah. But why? Oh, oh gosh, look at I left your head with cliffhanger. Ah! <laughs> okay, don't but don't record it. Um, yeah, we were and you know, we especially because we record this, it's crazy. Don't record it. Um only because, and I, I'm sorry that I didn't give more uh, more unpack that a little bit more. Only because um, um, s s statistically, people have such a thing eh, about listening to the sound of their own voice. The most famous singers in the world, brilliant singers, you know, brilliant public speakers, when they hear their own voice, they go, eh, like that. And that's just the sound of their own voice. The sound, the timbre, the tone, right? So when I say don't record it, I wouldn't want the sound of your own voice getting in the way of your uh, appreciation of your work. That's all. Now, if now if those of you who love the sound of your own voice and like, I can record myself and I can listen to myself all day. Well, then go ahead. Go ahead and record yourself. But um, it takes a, 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 get, a little getting used to because I think your brain is going... Who's that speaking? That's me, isn't it? Where am I? I'm out there. It's a little confusing. I think people have trouble with it. That's all. But, you know, give it a try. I just want you to go, oh, God, I hate my writing because your voice sounds funny. Okay. Uh, I just recorded a podcast of my writing. So oh, 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 I just thought that. <laughs> so, so clearly I was going off into the deep end there. Mm, you're great. You're great. You're great. Did you listen back to, I mean, did you use it for what I'm saying is, did you use it for the purposes of rewriting? No, I oh, did okay. it as a finished. It's a performance. So that's what then that's 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 very different than, you know, I do performances all the time and record them. It's just for the it just takes a little getting used to, to learn how to listen to your own voice and not hate the sound of your own voice or, or just strongly dislike it to the point where you dislike the the, the, the work. You say, but you did a finished product. Great. You know, you're you're a pro. Come on, Lisa, you're a pro. So just just you know, if I give a comment or a suggestion and you're like, that ain't helpful to me, just throw it away. And it'll land in somebody else's room. And maybe it'll be helpful to them, or maybe it'll just land on the sidewalk. Okay. Thanks for the clarification and the cliff. Thanks, hon. Thank you, Lisa. Lou, please go ahead and unmute yourself. Hey, hi, SLP. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm good. I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah. I have an update and a question. So I came to the first Watch Me Work in May of 2020. Ah, the first one on Zoom. I no. think it was the first one on Zoom. And I've been a part of this community. I think I come, I come whenever I can. I don't know the numbers, but like, 85% of the ones you've done. Yeah. And I've seen so many people here over all these years. And I'm really proud to share today that a goal that I've been working on, which is to find a publisher for my book, has occurred. Congratulations. And I would not be here. Yeah. Um, I, there's no question, SLP. There's no question without you and this group and what you've given me and what has occurred in the space without that. And also really important to say, I'm a nonfiction author, will be. And that means I sold my book on proposal, which means it's not done, <laughs> which means I have miles to go before I sleep. So I do not want to give the universe the impression that I think my work here is complete and this is some like cherry on top. I have a lot more work to do. But I am confident because of what I know about how to do it and what I've picked up here that I'm going to do it and I'm going to knock it out of the park and I'm going to make something that I'm really proud of. And um, so I just really couldn't wait to tell you this news. Yay! 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 You go! You did the work, girl. We just cheered you on. We're like those people, when those people run the marathon, you know? We're like, go, go, go. I mean, Lord have mercy, I wouldn't be out there. Or at the Olympics, who watched the Olympics? We're like, yay, go, go, right? And they were doing all the work. We're just cheering you on, Lou. Go, go, run. Go, girl, you go. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So exciting. 
Thank you. It, and it's with somebody who I just think really gets what I'm doing. And I feel really confident about her understanding of my work and the publisher. What ink, the ink isn't dry, but sure enough, I'm sure I'll be coming in here dropping links when the time is right. But it's it's a publisher you've heard of. It's a publisher I've heard of. It's a place I never imagined I'd be a part of. I can't even believe what's happening. So yes. So I'm trying to sit in the glory of that. And I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> so on to the next and I could sure find, you know, I could spin it up. But so my question, as I venture off yes. for the next year with now contracts and deadlines and obligations and people, and I know a lot of what I can do, which is what I'm telling you. And I believe it. This, yeah. this question I keep coming back to is what could I, and I don't know, I guess it's probably gonna have to come for me. Maybe, I don't know, but I wanted to bring it here. What, what should I tell myself every morning? <laughs> when I wake up, like, I feel like there's something I want to repeat now that I'm beginning this next phase of my work. And it might just be like, I believe I can do this, or I am doing this, or it's here. Or, I don't like, I guess it's a question. Like, what do people like, is there, um, is there anything you could suggest about how to find that? And is that even a realistic thing to want? I don't like, I just keep feeling like, yeah. if I can repeat something every day, maybe I can yeah. just do it's, the and thing. it's fluid. It doesn't have to be the same thing, because the weather, the, we the weather every day is different. The meal you ate last night might move you to might move you in ways that you know what I'm saying. So you can be flexible. Your mantras. I mean, we're not, we're, you know, we're not like that. Like you only get one mantra and you have to say forever. No, 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 no. You have as many mantras as you need, right? You can take them from anywhere you want. The universe is like that. It's abundant. There's like, oh, you can borrow from this faith or this friend or this, you know, sometimes you see if you're looking for a sign, this is it. Yes, I'll take that. I just go around just, just taking whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and you can too. And some good ones are, hey, Lou, you got this. You can talk to yourself as your best friend might. I mean, you're, you know, you're your best friend. You know what I mean? Your yes. mind, make your mind your best friend. Mm. Sounds you know, right. Your mind, what <laughs> goes on in your mind is your best friend. Call on the name of all the great writers. Come on, come on. You're, you know, you're, you're in the, you're in the field now, right? You, you walk, now you've walked into the field. So now we're all walking together. Come on. You know what I mean? You look to your, this side and you see, a lot writer that you love and you look to that side they could be passed on or whatever you know what I mean and you're walking in the field with them come on any any you can call on anybody anything they don't even have to be a writer they could be an ice skater <laughs> yeah it just kind of came to me I don't know why <laughs> just the ice skaters do that shit you know or a pole vault, vault oh my god you know <laughs> <laughs> Or, or, or Vice President Harris, come yes. on, come on, you know what I mean? Whoever get, fills you with joy, mm. makes you feel like you can do it. Um, write in your notebook every morning. Maybe you can even write yourself a little script. This morning, today, I'm going to work on my work and I'm going to get some good work done. Every day I write joyfully and brilliantly. Mm. Every day I'm getting my work done. And it's fun. I'm having fun. Any any kind of mantra you want. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that's like so hopeful. Anything. You're that's the that's the freedom of the of the the the, the you know. Anyway, look, there are trees outside. Oh my God, they're helping. Yeah, that, right? that resonates. Yeah, yeah, it's great. You know, and that's how you that's how you that's how you got this far, and that's how you're gonna step into the winter circle. I mean, there's no doubt. Right. There's no doubt. I mean, Lord knows I, I've discovered, I mean, I'm laughing at myself SLP because I have discovered I am so talented at putting up every wall. Like, it's just like, like I'm watching it, you know, I, I, whatever I got this news and it was like two days later. And I was like in the abyss again for like half a day. And I was like, are you kidding me? Every time I hit this, I'm like, I am so good at this. And I refuse. I cannot do that anymore I cannot do that here it is enough it is enough and I want to step into it and I can and I will because I got this far so I just don't want the drama of the 
I'm sure it'll happen. I'm human, whatever. But like, I just want to, pro- oh, I want to walk into this in a new way. And I think uh, that's. And sometimes you walk into it through the ch- mental chatter of your own bullshit coming out your mouth. <laughs> just keep walking. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep going. I mean, yeah. you anything you're allowed to say anything and everything positive and loving to yourself. When some negative shit come out your mouth, just think of me going, oh, come on, girl. Would you really yeah. say yourself would you say that to me wouldn't say that to me if you're not gonna say it to me then don't say it to yourself and there it is <laughs> you, come on yeah right it's 2024 come on right and you right. have a, a wonderful um uh editor or you know you have a team yeah. come on yeah right? I'm psyched. <laughs> and just keep you know if next time we get together maybe it's next whatever time we get together next time and you've had some some less than helpful thoughts come into your mind you're allowed to share that too it's it's not like once you get the book contract or get the spouse or find the house or whatever the fuck fill in the blank that you're not allowed to ever complain again that's not that's not that's not uh, how it works mm. you know shit's still gonna come <laughs> and what a wonderful opportunity because now you're like I also like to do fake martial arts too. Or like, I will do it. I will do it. This was so helpful, and I have to tell you before I jump up off here. One of my first thoughts was, I can't wait to tell SLP. Like you were like one of the first things that came to my mind. You were such an inspiration to me, and also everyone here and how around and public and ever like just the fact that this has been a part of my world. I can't thank you enough. Yes. Did you do a happy dance? Oh, I did. And I cried. I did all of it. Just do a happy dance. I'm going to do a happy dance. Or at least do a happy dance when you're watching the Democratic National Convention this week. I'm assuming. I I know. I assume. Oh, I will be. No, you can assume on me for sure. You can watch the replays, whatever. Okay. All right. Thank you Congrats so much, Lou. So excited for you. Please, please go ahead and unmute yourself. Hi. This is my first... um, time being here so this has been awesome um and congratulations Lou I published my first book of poetry last year and I actually have a note in my phone with all different affirmations so I also recommend that um so my question is I had a reading of a play like a a stage reading years ago and I always felt like the execution of that play never quite matched the vision of it in my head and I want to return to it but I'm wondering if you have any strategies for how to close that gap between sort of the vision in my head and what's on the page. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a great question, Lisa. So, um, so were you, did you direct the play? Were you in the play or did you just not just write it, but were you just, uh, I was just viewing it. I had a director and I was not a uh, part of the cast. Okay. Do you, did you choose the director? I did. I did. Okay. And did you agree with their take? You know, you know, they had. Yeah, not wholly. Okay. So how, you know, so you're, you have written a beautiful play. You choose a director, you hand it off to them. And at what point did you go, you know? Uh, maybe at some point during the rehearsal process, but it was a very quick turnaround. And so I didn't feel like I was in a place to make changes at that point to what was happening. And also full disclosure, it was not my first choice of the director at the time. Well, okay. Okay. So, okay. Fair, fair enough. And I'm sure, you know, and there are like millions of directors and they're all wonderful and they're all not, not all of them are the right fit. So sometimes you just get not someone who's not the right fit. Um, yeah, so have, okay, my, you, it's, it's a staged reading, a staged reading or like a sit down reading? A sit down reading, sorry. Yeah, no, 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 I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't, couldn't remember it correctly. Um, might you direct it again? I mean, next, second time around? Um, I've never directed anything I've written, but in, okay. in a world of infinite possibilities, sure, they could. Okay. okay. Cool. So that that's a possibility. I'm talking. Mm-hmm. We're talking about bridging the gap between what you wrote and what you what is communicated to the actors, because a director, you know, they have a very. Go ahead. We, we, 
I think the problem is what I wrote though. So I think the gap isn't in the direction of it, but the script at the time, let's say it was a third draft. Uh huh. It did not quite do what I imagined it would do. So I think the the problem is me, not the direction. Great, great. Then that's <laughs> easy. Then it's it's really easy because now mm -hmm. you get to do a rewrite, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Easy, but this is this this is great. And what's also great, Felice, is that you are taking responsibility, which is really brilliant. Because a lot of times we go, oh, it's their fault, right? <laughs> And what you do is actually, actually, I, I need to, I need to work on the script a little bit. So that's really, that's really bold and cool. Um, I would suggest uh, like, like to Lisa, like read it aloud, walking around your yard, but don't, uh, you can just uh, in your home inside, you can stand up. I would suggest print it out on, you know, paper, if that's okay. Uh, you can do that at home and, and with a pencil or a pen, stand up and walk around and read it aloud every moment in the play where you go yeah this is boring right mm -hmm. take a mark in the script every moment in you play you go oh i don't really understand that scene or what or that beat or that line or what circle it just a little mark you don't have to do the rewrite right then mm -hmm. but you're walking around and you go oh this is a boring scene mm -hmm. just put you can just write in the margin boring scene or, oh, this is a fun scene. This is great. I love this scene. Love this. Mm -hmm. you're, you're walking around. You're going to be the cast and crew and director for your own in-home, in-house, highly professional, incredibly helpful. Stand up, walk around reading. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay? And if you have a, 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 a beloved person, friend, partner, spouse, person, who is willing, oh my God, and we must love them, to sit down and like listen to you. Okay, honey, like that, you know, mm -hmm. right? You can have them, you can invite them to listen. If not, you know, if they if they don't know how to like help like that, it's fine. There's, there's strengths are in other areas. Mm -hmm. You can do it all by yourself, okay? Um, and you walk around, you read the whole thing all the way through. You can take a, a pause, is it, is it long? Is it like a- The one act. Okay, so you can probably do it in one, sort of standing right mm -hmm. not a sitting but a standing right so you read it right you just mark up your script just mark it up keep going read all the parts with total energy boom you know mm -hmm. anywhere you don't like it just mark in the script and then you have a roadmap to what you need to rewrite mm -hmm. okay you yeah. can even transfer all those notes that you've scribbled in the margins to one document typed up or on a piece in a notebook this is what i need to rewrite and maybe, and I don't even know, like, why is this scene here? I've done that tons of times. I walk around like, I'm like, what is this scene doing here? <laughs> That's horrible. And I don't have to answer in that moment. But when I go back to do the rewrite, I know that that scene needs some kind of work somehow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so then you're, you're, you can, you're all set to do your rewrite. And then you rewrite along those lines. Awesome. Thank you yeah. so much. I yeah, really and, appreciate and, and that. You, you're welcome. That's great. And keep us posted. We want to know how it's going. I will for sure. Yes. Thank you so much, Felice. Ace, please un unmute yourself. Hey, Ace. Hey, Hi. Girl. How you doing, darling? Good, good. Busy. Um, How's Florida? Good. It's really hot. Oh, okay. Um, as Florida is. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's Florida. What do you expect, you know? um so my question is sort of like in the similar family okay. as Felice's this it's kind of like a sister question if you will okay it's like um what do you do when you have written something and then when you give it to performers performers and then when they perform it it's it 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 doesn't it doesn't come out the way you it's written and sounded in your head right when you hear it it's like like my brain is sort of like, I don't even process what's in front of me anymore because like I sort of backtracked into like, oh, I, I it's like I backtracked into a wall or like, oh, I didn't expect this to happen. Okay. And, and with that in mind, like, what do you, I'm, sh I'm trying to understand how to, in a sense, go with the flow of the this, this shift into okay. what I imagined into like what it's presented to me right now. Because like, I'm one of those types of people who like, sort of take a couple days to answer a question 
within like the expectations of a rehearsal room within like a, a week of rehearsals means that like you need to have something almost like done by the end of the day but like in your mind it's like oh it's going to take me another month before I can figure out how to like rework what I've written and it's not translating translating well right 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 no that's a great question so it, it sounds like you have a did you just come out of a process like this or are you anticipating going into another tell me both so it's this is a pattern that I've noticed a lot with my writing and then this coming next week I'm going to start rehearsals again oh great and so like I always catch myself like I've started to notice like this like this how like I react my body reacts my mind reacts to these types of situations and I just don't know what I'm like I just like when this happens I just don't know what I'm doing you know and then I was like oh and I just sit quietly and just let what happen what's going on in front of me happen and then it's kind of weird at the end of the day because then like it feels like I'm a bad writer okay okay no I I, I hear you I hear you I hear you so Okay, so here's some questions, and I, I don't know, but here's some questions. So, and you're going to start rehearsal, you said? Next week. Next week. Okay. Is there anything in, when you get in the room, sort of establish with the director and the actors, like, let's go slow? You know what I mean? Like, maybe if you slow down the process, because right now it sounds like the process is going a lot faster then your internal yeah. pro inter internal re rewriting process is going. So they're fast and you're, you know, they're like sprinters and you're a marathoner. You're all fast, but they're running kind of a different thing, you know? So you need to have everybody be running a marathon pace. Can they do, can you ask them to do, is it a, so what's the end presentation? Is it a, a reading is it a, a production are you going to be like lights and costumes and all that stuff so it's going to be part of a skit for a circus performance and it's okay. multiple skits from other people okay with their performances okay and I honestly like that sort of like expectations of what you said like hey guys like you guys are really fast and I need you to like sort of go my speed I never even consider that because, like, I think it's pretty hard being, like, this sort of social introvert, almost, like, high social anxiety being in theater. Because right. those two things are kind of, like, oil and water. Right. And, like, me trying to, like, I almost accommodate, like, my own emotions so other people can do work. Right. But then I feel like with that, like, I can't do my own work because then, like, oh, you know what I mean? Right. The, I, I feel, in my experience, I feel like the group gets so much from learning how to work with you that they would appreciate hearing what you need because you're the writer. Like, without you, there ain't nothing to do except sit around and chit-chat about Instagram, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. August Wilson said, where were you when the page was blank? He'd say that to actors. Where were you when the page was blank? You know, which is great. They were, I don't know, they were doing something else. But we writers, we're sitting around writing stuff, right? So, so, so is there a way to slow down the process? Like, like we talked with someone earlier about slowing it down, you know, like re, the rewriting process and she'll be at home rewriting, right? And she slows it down. Is there a way to say, can we just, can you, is it possible to do one page a day or one scene a day or give you time to kind of get familiar enough with the process that you can feel like you can contribute substantially? I think I, I hear what you're saying and I'm in that's I'm going to prioritize that now because like I haven't even it's like I haven't even considered centering that for myself which I like for me as an artist and so like I'm sort of like trying to figure out okay that's that's a, that's a statement um and again I need to 
<laughs> I'm like, my brain is like, I need some more time to think about it. Um, sure. Sure. You're allowed to ask for what you need. And the process will really do so much better if the writer is being served, period. That's just the truth. If the writer is being served, you're the guardian of the galaxy, basically. <laughs> In mm -hmm. that room, you are the guardian of the galaxy. You could even say with the with the director and stage manager or everybody around the table, you could say, okay, people, I have this thing where I, uh, I can't think of the phrase in print, but when I, 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 it takes me a while to process, right? Buffering, you know, on your computer buffering, it takes a minute, right? So maybe it would help me if maybe every, you know, seven minutes we, we do a check-in and the stage manager, they're there with their stopwatch and they go, okay, ace, check it in. And you're that going, well, and they make space for you to check in instead of going at their pace they're going at your pace it's very important you can have a seven minute check-in a check-in every five minutes and it's not like you're going to always need this to go this way you just need to slow it down it's like yeah you you, you really do you were allowed to center yourself it's not even you're allowed to center yourself guess what ace you are the center you're the the hub you're the writer. We forget how beautiful we are, how essential we are. You wrote that piece of writing that they're working on. You know, it's amazing. So you're allowed to say, I need to slow it down a little bit. Maybe every five minutes, I need to check in. You know, and the director can say, okay, how's it going for you? Are we, are we in tune with what you're feeling? Well, I don't know. I think it needs to be funnier. Oh, okay. How so? Well, because when he said that and they said that, it, it, I imagine it to be funnier. Oh, well, let's talk about that. You know what I mean? Or maybe you, yeah, maybe you can just check in every five minutes, five minute check in. Maybe you only do that for the first couple of days. And after the first couple of days, it's a, every 20 minutes you have a check in. Mm. Uh, I, I will literally want to do that. Um, so thank you. I, that, that's literally like something I can like physically take and then bring to me yeah. just to have because like you know you get like my mind like my mind does so many things before I, I enter the room which is terrible you know and like you you want to be this person who does great once you when you enter the room you want to like have high expectations you want to fulfill high expectations without without showing your vulnerability but I think like that that just corners you into like what you where you don't want to be. Yes, and vulnerability, in my experience, is a sign of strength. I'm always showing my hey. Here we are talking about our feelings. <laughs> you know, vulnerability is actually a sign of strength. Yeah, it's showing your heart. Showing, show, saying, I need help. Hello, you know, saying this is what I need in a in a in a kind, loving way, not in a like posing way where you're demanding things of people. Not like that. Like just, you know, I need to slow it down a little bit. That's a sign of strength. And not being always brilliant is okay. I've been in rooms where we've had to do rewrites, and I'm like, they're like, oh my god, Sizzler Parks is doing a rewrite. I'm like, yeah, so. I mean, hello, what? Uh, do, do you have a problem with that? Because I don't. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. It's really, it's, it's, it's really okay. Um, it's, it, it's actually better than okay. It's beautiful. And you're teaching them how to be. Yeah, Thank you. we are. You're teaching them how to be, and you're teaching us how to be, and you're teaching, you know what I mean? And we're all learning, and we're all growing. It's it's amazing. And you live in Florida, and you better vote blue. I'm, I'm No, did I say that? You better vote. Yeah. Florida's just going to go blue? I'm hoping. <laughs> anyway, this isn't, pol this isn't a political show. You don't have to answer that, bro. Person. Yeah. 
Um, but okay, so just act, just just sort of, and I think the director and the stage manager also might have some strategies to help you as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I will, I will, I, will, I, will, I guess I won't be so nervous as to like, not literally, but like metaphorically, ask someone to hold my hand while I while I drive. Or yeah. Yeah, that's okay. I've asked many people to hold my hand always. That's why you, maybe that's one of the reasons why you have hands. <laughs> I don't know. I just, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why we're here. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ace. On that note, it's 6.02. Oh, it's 6.02. How are you? Oh, oh we will I see you I here. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say that again? I'm so sorry. Sorry, Zoe, are, are we going to say something like? Oh, uh, we will see you next week. We will see you. We will see you next week. All right. Have a great Bye. week. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.